Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Um, just came across a article on AOL that caught me in my tracks about the facial recognition system. Now, we all know it exists. It was used at Notting Hill Carnival last year, and it's gone kind of quiet. But guess what? The I'm going to read it from you. Artificial, I'm going to read it from here. Artificial intelligence and privacy researchers have found that a logarithms behind some systems incorrectly identify women and people with dark skin more frequently than white men. Now, you know, when they put it like that, it probably doesn't identify white people at all. It only identifies black people because these people have to be polite and they have to be seen as being non-discriminatory. But if you read between the lines, it also says our logarithms in another source. This was with Forbes, Forbes magazine. Our logarithms find it difficult to identify people in different demographic groups. Now, what does that tell you? The facial recognition system that doesn't need any permission, not like stop and search, where they have to go through all this protocol, they can actually scan your face from a distance. They can use their body cameras. And then all they've got to do is go back to the office and match it against all the photographs or whatever. They put this facial recognition system in their thing and boom. That's how they can arrest people and incorrectly identify people. That's a scary thing. It's about incorrectly identifying people. I mean, China has been using this system since 2015 and they find it very effective. I mean, they use it all the time, but they use it mostly for getting into banks, for um you know, more or less general thing. It's a bit like in Sweden where they use that chip in the hand. China uses facial recognition for nearly everything. But in the US, you know, it's very, very, it's out there. But with the UK, as you know, they're quite so repetitious. So everything is done on the quiet. But you need to know that this is happening. Um, let me see. The face print, it measures um, the difference between your eyebrows, between your eyes, between your eyebrows and your eyes and your nose and your cheekbones and your between your lips and all that kind of stuff. And it's, 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 it's different from a fingerprint because with a fingerprint, you have to literally take the person to the, to the police station and take the fingerprint or at the airport. With the face recognition system, you don't have to do that. You can be, nobody knows it's happening. That's a scary thing. You don't need the individual's permission. To me, that should be breaching human rights. That's invasive. Because you could be going about your merry way, even they could even use body cameras, walking down, making out, like sometimes when you see the police officers walking down the road all calmly, they're not saying anything. Who knows that they haven't got their body cameras on, filming everybody around and then taking it back to the station. The reason why AOL reported this was because a girl went out on a date and um, at the end of the date, she realized, she met this guy online and she realized the guy had stolen £400 from her or dollars, one of the two. Um, I'm not sure of the currency. Anyway, she had his photograph because she'd taken a photograph together. You know, we're always kind of taking photographs of each other. But um, at that time, which was about a year ago, um, they couldn't track him because he disconnected his phone. He had taken his profile down. Even though the CCT got the car, they didn't get the number plate because it was blurred. So they didn't have none of that evidence. Anyway, she went and pursued it when she heard about the facial recognition system. And they tracked him down just based on the photograph. So obviously he'd done something in his past while they were able to track him down. But that's not really the point. In my, in the way I look at this is that it would be different if it was an efficient tool. 
and it had been perfected. But if it's only identifying and incorrectly identifying black people, what does that say? That's really, really scary. And they've got the audacity. No wonder they're keeping it on the quiet. Oh, I really, I really, um, and then they, I mean, even though it's not admissible in court, they can use this information as evidence. One guy got arrested. They did, he didn't even know that the reason he got arrested was based on um, one of these, um, the facial identification software. So, you know, you can be wrongfully arrested based on that. God forbid if you thought you've done something else and it picks you up on something else. I don't know. I just find it so disturbing that they can use equipment that they know is not um, quality um, proof. It doesn't meet the gold standard in quality and yet you'll still use it knowing it's deficient and knowing it's targeted at black people. And, you know, they have this audacity to say, oh, all black people look alike. So if we all look alike, what chance do we have? If this system is picking up all of the, you know, black people only. I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this, but hey, I've got to tell it like it is. Um, what else did I want to say? Of course, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than doing a DNA, these facial recognition. So I guess with facial recognition and dogs, you know, they've got it going on, haven't they? It's getting cheaper and cheaper to incorrectly diagnose. I saw them doing, you know, I love watching these um, programs. You know, the ones about um, going through um, customs and they have these little dogs going around sniffing people at the airport. But, you know, just if you've been associated with somebody who's been um, smoking or taking drugs, that dog will sniff you out and you go and you have to go and have all this strip search and everything. And then they found out that the person didn't have any drugs on him. It was because he had associated with somebody or he'd been with somebody who had been smoking. He'd been in their, in their confines. But the fact is he had to go through the whole um, process, being strip searched and invaded just because he had associated and just because the dog picked it up. What I'm trying to say is that, you know, even though dogs are cheaper, they're not foolproof the same way as this um, facial technology software. <sighs> and it used to be um, only used for high profile crimes. Now it's being used for routine crimes. The police, when you see the police calmly walking around, they're probably taking people's pictures and going back to the office and having a field day. Who knows? You know, they don't have nothing better to do on a day. It's a bit quiet. Oh, let's go out and take some. Let's use our body camera to take some images of these people. Let's see if we've got them on their books. Let's see if we can identify them from anything or anywhere. I mean, I don't quite know how that system works. I don't know if the police criminal system only has people who are criminals or if it has all foreign nationals just by virtue of them coming through the airport. I don't know. Because when you think of passports, every single passport has our photo in it. How do we know that they, can't, they don't use that facial recognition on our passports? We don't know, do we? They could just put our passports through. So even if you haven't got a criminal conviction, you know, that could be, that could be one way. Or oh, the DVLA, they have our photographs if they're working with the DLA. And innocent people have photographs. Innocent black people have photographs on their passports and on their driving license. How do we know that they're not using that facial recognition system on our passports and our driving licenses? And, oh, somebody just happens to look like us. I mean, they arrested somebody, I think, for two or three days. If the woman never owned up and said, oh, it couldn't have been him because he was with me, we were doing this and we could prove it, that guy would have been carted off to prison. Oh, I do. You can tell I'm getting passionate in this one because it's just so unfair. Apparently, Amazon um, have given permission for the face monitoring system to be installed in their, 
in their warehouses and stuff. And um, all the employees and um, stakeholders, they're kicking up a stink. Microsoft, I'm glad to say, refused to sell their information to the police. But, you know, it won't be long before they start making it look like this is because of terrorists or this is because of that or this is because of security in the country. Why you have to give us this information? It won't be long before they start intimidating people into selling this information. So once your photograph is out there, that's it. And we all know that you can start your phone with facial recognition if you want. I don't, because I just don't like the idea of looking in it and it, opening up a screen. I think that's quite scary. But it's, a, it's what's coming, isn't it? It's the mark of the beast. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.